Bonjour, Annyeong, welcome to my new studio vlog. Um, I'm gonna start this video by telling you that I'm gonna try to update more videos and more content on YouTube since I have many videos I've been recording but no time to edit them but I know it's on my to-do list. I was quite busy because of the launching of my shop and uh, now I'll probably take more time for uh, YouTube. Here uh, I received back my mail uh, I sent to my pin supplier because you know I have been going through some issues with the quality of my pins and they needed to check that it was the case so obviously it was the case because you had some enamel missing on the leaf part of my avocado so yeah but they accepted to redo only the half of them so anyway, what I have asked was to get back my first batch pins because um, this has been very time consuming and I wanted them to get listed on my shop anyway. So they accepted uh, since it was a lot of uh, money and time wasting in this story. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do in the video is just sort them out by quality grade again since they, those have been mixed and uh, the thing I wanted to tell you is that I use generally four to five grades because I'm very strict with the quality of those pins I know that uh, people usually use three grades when they have issues or even two just saying that those are seconds but uh, actually most of them are not like just seconds they just have minor imperfections and I would say that until B grades they look very great it's just that it's not at the quality level expected by myself but it depends on what you want to do with them but I'm quite yeah straight with those so uh, don't think that because it's B grade it's gonna be a horrible pin no it's not it's just that you can see maybe one small dust inside or one what I could call dot with small area unfilled or whatever you know you can barely see them uh, but uh, at least I do so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now This is a tip actually uh, that I have seen on YouTube so it's very useful because you need to attach this um, to the backing card and since it has the hole it's very useful to put that in. Let me show you how I do. So here are the backing cards I designed. What I do is putting this here and then let's start with this because this is the C line. Uh, and here we go with this little cutie. And then put them in a cell bag if 
I don't do that, I'm too scared of the fact that it could be scratched in the in the mail. So I prefer extra protection. <laughs> Do 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 do. I'm pretty happy with the backing card. With the little heart inside. Let's do it first. My god! <laughs> Guess what? It's not the right backing card. Those are our boys. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's not the right backing card. I think I'm going crazy. This is the right one. Let's do it, let's do it, na, na, let's do it, do it. I'm very happy today because one of my very closest friends um, on Instagram just purchased me a thing. So what makes me so happy is that uh, it has been a while that I wanted to send her some gift and I thought it was a good opportunity to do this <laughs> today. What I do for the first orders is to put this, which is seconds. I mean, I made a lot of tests um, to get things working, and uh, so there are many unperfect uh, stickers which has been not rightly cut or simply the colors were not great but i thought it could be nice to give them as yeah as uh, freebies still some are still cute it's just that i cannot sell this sometimes you also got some stickers who are just great but i decided not to put them on store so that's why it's inside the freebie and i put here a little sticker which says we are the second freebies but we are still cute love me please and i thought it would be a good idea and i'll be wrapping this little products uh in a in a wrapping paper and i chose to take a pink one for my friend uh laura and because she reminds me pink <laughs> each time I see her she's a pinky colorful girl So my little card is ready and uh, now what I'm gonna do is fill this custom form um, for all the 
shipping, international shipping. You, let's go. I have a great news as well. Um, I had two hamsters. One who was a golden hamster and the other one was a Robowski who has been rescued actually. Um, I lost them during the summer uh, but they actually lived quite long and we have been missing them. So we decided to adopt again and I contacted back my first hamster breeder who is from Belgium and I decided to adopt um, a golden hamster or a Syrian hamster if you prefer um, and to bring the hamster here in Paris I also contacted another breeder located in Paris who was going to meet her and this breeder only has Campbell hamsters that's why I didn't try to reach her for her adoption and she had at that moment issues with one of her buyer I would say and this is a very sad story honestly uh, this person bought like and I will say both because this is what happened um, bought like three hamsters and other animals from other places and she actually sold them back on the marketplace which is just nonsense because she wasn't making any profits on doing this so just um, I don't know <laughs> we we don't know why she was doing this but she got noticed selling on the marketplace um, because Campbell hamsters are not sold in animal shops anyway and they are only found from breeder because those hamsters are pure blood. Lots of people helped to bring the hamsters back uh, because when you adopt a hamster from a breeder you have an agreement which says that you cannot give those hamsters to anybody you want, you cannot abandon them and if there are any serious reasons doing that uh, you cannot keep them anymore the breeder takes them back so this breeder contacted me again you know i had uh, two cages already and she asked me if i could rescue one of them so i accepted this is a longer story but uh, yeah this is <laughs> pretty much what happened Tu vas voir ta petite 
Nesquik, oui, Nesquik, oui, petit bébé, oui, bébé, oui, bébé. Ils m'ont donné plutôt euh, un truc euh, de... que Priscilla nous a donné. Nesquik, coucou mon donate, coucou mon donate. Nope. Je sais pas, il a déjà des trucs dans ses abajos. En fait. <rire> il a fait le plein, le bébé. <rire> tu veux sortir, bébé? Sortir par. Euh, on peut sortir par. Oh, elle est toute fatiguée. Qu'est-ce que tu fais de tout Coucou. C'est plus lourd.
Mais oui, ma princesse. Je suis levé maintenant. Oh, mon dieu. Les deux pifs se rencontrent. On l'a pas comme ça. Il faut, il faut les prendre ici, regarde tout. Mmh, on se dit ici. Tu peux plus. Non, mais c'est les sèches. Il est très sèche. C'est juste qu'elle a peur, regarde comment elle marche. Elle marche près du sol. Elle marchait déjà comme ça. <rire> Panique. On va l'appeler Panique. Comme dans Hercule. C'est le dessin animé. Hein, ah, Panique Si elle est pas sérieuse. Mais je vois, elle bouge pas beaucoup, mon petit bébé. Hein mon bébé. Elle est toute légère, elle est encore un petit bébé. Donc elle était plus gros quand il est arrivé. I know that I also need to upload a video introducing myself properly. Uh, things that I haven't been doing so far. So yeah, and um, I also know that <laughs> it's called Studio Vlog and I'm not showing that much my workspace um, so far. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I plan to do this uh, for coming days. So stay tuned and uh, as well, if you like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, put a a like please and do not hesitate to comment uh, i will be happy to answer so thank you very much and see you uh, in the next video bye